splitting a topo surface. I'm going to split a topo surface, but before I do that, I'm going to create a new feature in here. I'm going to create a pond in this area. So what I'm going to do is pick on my surface. I'm going to say edit surface. I get these additional tools like uh, place a point and uh, I can create from import etc and so okay well I can place a point but that doesn't really help me that much but it does uh, I can create like a little dip for my pond so I'm gonna place a point and my elevation is gonna be minus I'm gonna go with three feet six inches and I gotta get the minus sign in front minus and so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pick a spot here 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 and there okay and uh, I'll pick another one right in there boom and then uh, I'm gonna pick another one a little bit deeper here at about five foot six I'm gonna put some right right in the middle there and uh, then I'm going to close the surface and so now I got a little dipped area in there um, so now what I want to do is I want to go over to splitting a surface when I go to split surface oops, split surface I pick on the surface and it'll say split surface. Now I have some lines I can draw on here and I can draw a line, uh, a square, a circle type thing um, and I can even draw an ellipse and uh, you know I'm gonna probably go with an ellipse here alright and I'm gonna pick and it says pick the center of the ellipse I'll pick right there an axis on the ellipse, I'm going to pick right about there. I'm going to pick the other way, pick right there. And so now I'm going to say OK, finish the edit mode. And now I have just split out that surface. So when I pick on this surface, you can see that I have, uh, when I and what is this thing going on out here? I'm not sure what that little line is there. But when I pick on this surface, my material is grass. I'm going to change that. I'm going to come down in here and I'm going to go down to uh, liquid. I'll go with water and I'm going to put that up and above and I'm going to apply. And now I have a water feature. And I'll go with realistic and it should look blue to me okay and so now I just split that surface out of there uh, I'm not sure how I got this extra line in there uh, but I split that surface out of there and now I got uh, something I can apply a different material to uh, so it's not really part of my surface it's a separate surface altogether so splitting a surface is uh, up to my modify in using the split surface command so we can get two independent surfaces uh, and this can represent roads and lakes and things of that nature.